Pardon, brother? How did you know we were brothers? Leroy. Why, we're all brothers in the eyes of heaven, aren't we? Oh. Hallelujah. Blessed be the peacemakers. I fear you gentlemen might be under a misapprehension. I mean you no harm. I, I come in peace. Just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this veil of tears, spreading the word. Praise be. You a preacher man? Uh, pardon, brother? Are you a preacher man? Why, it all depends on your needs, brother. I can quote you chapter, verse, phrase, and line if it brings you comfort. Ain't hey, nothing in there but dirty shirts and Bibles, Red. You gentlemen are welcome to one, with my compliments. A Bible, that is. We're welcome to everything you've got, mister. Now, wait. It's coming up Easter week, my busiest season. You can't just Say take Say my... something appropriate for an epithet, mister. Why would you shoot a, a humble peddler? Because we're the Gaskell brothers. That's why. And you've seen our faces. Gaskell? Gaskells? Well, I've heard of the Daltons and the Jameses, but I don't think I've ever heard of you. That's because we're new in the West, and we just begun getting famous. But you're going to be hearing a lot about us. All right, Red, make him dead. Now, wait a minute. If you make me dead, who's gonna make you famous? Oh, it's uh, Gaskell with two L's. <laughs> So hard, Red. You dented my new hat. <laughs> Charity Moffat. Oh. Yes, miss. Call me friend. I was informed thou dealt in cattle, and I'd be interested in speaking business. Well, yes, I have a uh, fair-sized herd. Uh, now, were you interested in buying or selling? Buying. I'll pay thee cash on the barrel head, or if thou prefer, a bank draft and a reference. I have a letter from the Bishop of Boston. Well. And mine own words. How much livestock do you have in mind? The Lord has been good to me. I have a generous portion of land with lots of room for livestock. The lambs I now have and the ones I expect in the near future. You, uh, you keep sheep? I keep lambs. Little lost lambs of the shepherd. Children. Children? You have children? Eighteen. And more welcome, heaven willing. Eighteen children? Dost thou have any issue, friend Cartwright? 
Oh, yes, I, I have three sons. How fortunate thy sons be. None of my flock has a father. They're orphaned. I'm sorry. I run a school and keep house for them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Uh, now, do you want these steers for market? I'm afraid we've misunderstood each other. I want these steers for milk. <laughs> well... <laughs> Hey, Red, hold it. I told you we ain't ready for no bank jobs yet. No, I mean, this town is a mistake. He said the same thing about Salt Lake City. Everett was right. Salt Lake City was a mistake. Their Mormons and their body system. There's no money in robbing people don't use cash. Hey, guys, can we keep walking? My feet are fit to kill me when we stand still. I told you them dude's shoes was too small for you when had all that trouble wrenching them off him. Yeah, but it seemed awful wasteful, him lying there with a brand new pair of shoes. And you guys taking all the good stuff. His chiming pocket watches, his elk's tooth cufflinks, his, his solid gold cigar cutter. What solid gold? Ever heard of a Bible salesman having anything solid gold? Yeah. It's only plated. it. And what about them nice felices? We're giving you the dudes new luggage, didn't we? It ain't no luggage. That's his sample cases. I'll tell you what, I I'll trade you all the Bibles in here for, for his elk's tooth cufflinks. All right, enough yammering. Them Bibles are gonna come in handy. We can sweet tongue our way into any way we want with them good books under our arms. And no one's gonna recognize the kindly Bible drummers as the notorious Gaskell brothers, obeying the laws of the scriptures. How do you figure that? Don't say the Lord helps them or helps themselves. Yeah. Don't say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna help ourselves to Virginia City. Oh, I wanna tell you, Charlie, she had the prettiest ankles you ever did see. So I went over to her and I said, how'd you like to do the Virginia Reel? She said, well, I'm new in these parts, and you have to show me how. So I took her out there on the floor, and everybody moved back to give us a little room. You know, I spun her around so hard, her shoes and her tortoiseshell comb flew up in the hayloft. Joe, if you could spin a rope like you can spin a story, you'd be the champion calf tire of the universe. Well, is that so? You wait and see who's got the prettiest filly on his arm at the dance Saturday night. I don't know whether I'll have time to take a look-see or not. Well, Fargo's waiting for their wagon. Putting these heavy-duty wheels on is gonna eat into my social hours. What's the big hurry? Can't wait till Monday? Ah, uh, hear them tell it. They got two silver stamped in Mills and Carson that are just gonna be standing there until the shipment rolls. Well, those big dogs ought to keep the wagon from sagging and dragging. Never seen a rig like this since they shipped all that bank bullion up to Sacramento. Yeah. Oh, hey. Peace, brothers, peace. Let's all love one another. Uh, good morning. Anything we can do to help you? Yeah, save your souls. It's all there in a the good book. From the original sin to... <laughs> <laughs> what, a little hot for you, brother? Nope. It just don't take me too long to examine a horseshoe. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, brother. Amen. <laughs> oh, it's smart. Of course it's smart. Stupid. When I said, see what you can pick up at the horse barn, I didn't mean... Don't you know the difference between a hard horseshoe and a cold one? I do now. You do now. But I did use my head. How? I picked up the horseshoe with my left hand. With the left hand? My gun hand is quick as ever. If you let me use a gun. When you're ready. When you're ready. This morning was no total loss. I picked something else up at the stable that seemed very interesting. What, Leroy? What? The blacksmith was putting extra heavy-duty wheels on a Wells Fargo wagon. And he said that the silver stamping mills was waiting for this shipment. Now, ain't silver pretty heavy in big chunks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> 300 head of prime beef for the Central Pacific Railroad crews at Port Summit, Colonel Bodine commanding. Check. 250 pack horses for the 13th Cavalry at Fort Folsom, Captain Ryder commanding. Check. And one head of gentle milk for the Scalia Vineyard, Miss Moffat commanding. Check. One head of gentle milk. Did I say one head of gentle milk? <laughs> yes, you sure did. <laughs> I wrote that order up myself. Miss Charlie Moffat, at the old Biscaya winery, you know, the old trail to Carson. That old place has been deserted ever since it built a new road through the mountains. Yeah, but this uh, Miss Moffat, uh, she's a spinster lady, a Quaker from down east. She turned the place into a home uh. for her children. A spinster lady with children? Mm-hmm. Eighteen of them. Of practically every age and race and color and God's rainbow. Orphans, horse, orphans. Oh. Miss Moffat runs a kind of church school for him. Oh, I see. That would count for one head of gentle milk would be a... A nice, gentle milk cow with a kind face. Oh, uh, no charge. Let's call it a contribution to Miss Charity. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Ain't no use mooning, sir. I'm gonna miss you, too. Ain't like we'll ever see each other again. I bet you two old girls will get along like a hand in the glove. Head a milk cow to your mother or teacher or whatever you call her. Who? The nice old Quaker lady that's kind of in charge of this herd. Miss Charity Moffat. Yeah. You? The old Quaker lady. Thank thee for the nice. Yeah. You sure don't look it, ma'am. I, I mean, old, not nice. I mean, not not nice. <laughs> this here is Sarah. Children, this be Sarah. And good friend Hoss, let us give thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, children, show Sarah to her quarters. Okay. Old Sarah's a good old cow, ma'am. She'll give you what she's got as long as you handle her properly. The Lord will provide, friend Hoss. Yes, ma'am. You'll find it a heap easier providing as long as whoever milks her sits on her left. Ah. If you ever need a man around here, ma'am, just give me a holler. Thank you, friend Hoss. Oh, there is one little thing. If you wouldn't mind stepping into the house for a moment. Yes, sir. It is a small request, friend Hoss. One that will not cost thee money, nor take unduly of thy time. Yeah, Emma, I'll be happy to help. Our regular custodian, friend Jonathan, has illness in his family and has had to return to Boston. I expect he will be absented for some spell. Most certainly, he will not be here this Easter morning. Easter? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. Wouldst thou be available? Oh, of course, ma'am. I'd be happy to take you to church. You and the whole kit and caboodle. We observe Easter right here. I was hoping that thou couldst carry on in the capacity of friend Jonathan. Yeah, well, uh, what exactly is the capacity of friend Jonathan? He helped me to sustain the traditional beliefs of the children starting last year. Well, I wouldn't want to disrupt an old tradition like that. I'll be happy to help out, ma'am. Oh, friend Hoss, thou art a gift from heaven. I shall count on my service then at sunrise. Service? Ma'am, I, I ain't never been much of a religious fanatic. I, I don't even know my New Testament from my old. But I, I reckon I could read something, all right. Sunrise, did you say? Just before dawn, yeah. about 4.55. Dressed traditionally, of course. Traditionally? Was this uh, friend Jonathan uh, 
Was he a Catholic, a Baptist, or a Christian, or what? A rabbit. Oh, a rabbit. A rabbit? Friend Jonathan played the Easter Bunny. Oh, yes, ma'am, but Friend Hoss ain't never been no Easter Bunny before. All thou has to do is to hide the colored eggs for the orphan's egg hunt, as is the custom. Oh, well, if that's all there is to it, I'll see you Sunday morning. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Friend Hoth, I would like to see thee sometime before then, when we can be alone. Really? For the fitting. Fitting? What, what sort of fitting? For the traditional costume. Oh, ma'am, you don't... I ain't gonna wear a... a... And even the little... It be the only part of friend Jonathan's outfit that will fit thee without alteration. And as thou thyself promised, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Soldier boy should have. Can I sit down? Thank you. Take a look at the edges on these pages. Solid gold. You have any idea what kind of a steady hand it takes to gold leaf each and every teensy weensy edge on that page? I bet a soldier boy like you gets to patrol a gang of gold shipment, government payrolls and all. You look the kind Uncle Sam would pick. Cool hand, keen eye, closed mouth. Me and my brother have often said how much we admire you boys in blue as stand guard over those payroll shipments. Through the long nights and the darkness and the snow and the rain and the sleet. And all for a lousy $17 a month. Yeah, while well, I'm civilians back east, sitting in the porch swing with your best girl. Laughing at you for being so honest. Me and my brother has always said if we come into any money, we'd share it with the soldier boy who helped us get it. The good book says, money changes is evil. Steal ye from the rich and give ye to the poor. Robin Hood, chapter 12, verse 10. So me and Everett's in a silver dollar, which ain't much of a place to sell Bibles, incidentally. This Wells Fargo driver's lifting a few, and he promised the barkeep that he'd howdy the barkeep's old lady in Carson City. Carson City? Hey, Lisa. Carson City. They got a big silver stamping mill there. The new wheels means there'll be a heavy shipment of silver bouncing through the high pass to Carson. Yeah, but there was a patrol of horse soldiers dusting themselves off in a saloon on the way back to Carson. That new road is just crawling with Johnny Bluecoats. Hey, and nobody's gonna be watching the old road when we take possession of the silver shipment. Well, why wouldn't the Wells Fargo then take, take the short way? We're gonna arrange it so that the long way is the only way. <laughs> Here's what I got in mind. Yeah, so then this greenhorn says, no, no, it just doesn't take me very long to examine a horseshoe, that's all. And it gives us a couple of more hallelujahs and hot foots it down the street like a rabbit with his tail on fire. Hey, don't you think that's funny? Rabbit with his tail on fire? No, yeah. I don't. And don't use up all that good smell of neither. You know, brother, sometimes I really don't understand you. Now, it's not Saturday and you're taking a bath. You say you're not going to see a girl, but you want to use my bay room. You say you're not going anywhere, but you're going through all this. Mr. Yeah, come on in and join the crowd, Hop Singh. Mr. Horse, Hop Singh not sure how many eggs you order. How many eggs you order? Oh, about, about 100 ought to be enough. 100 eggs? Sure gonna make awful big omelet. Awful big. I don't want them for an omelet. Just hard boil them and hop to it, Hop Singh. Well, oh, you're gonna be kidding. You know, but three to one, even you could need 100 eggs at one sitting. These eggs ain't for eating, little Joe. They're for delivering. Oh, you going into the hard-boiled egg business door to door? 
I'm going to give them, not sell them. Oh, any money in that? <laughs> Joseph, I'm giving these eggs to a bunch of little orphan kids. Oh, that's real nice. Hey, well, how come you got them all hard boiled? You know, some kids like them soft boiled, some like them sunny side up. <laughs> how would you go about dying a fried egg? Well, who'd want to die a fried egg? Joseph, what you don't know about old traditional Easter costumes. Costumes? Don't you mean Easter customs? Oh, well, that's, that's what I said. The nut. Dag rabbit. Nabbit. Dag, dag nabbit. Hey, Miss Charity. I ain't much one to go against tradition or nothing, but if the Easter Bunny always hides the eggs just before sunrise while it's still dark, then how come he can't hide them at midnight the night before? Oh, well, I forgot about the coyotes and the blue jays. They'd eat them up all right. Well, what if he, what if he just hid them like an hour before sunup? I mean, that way the Easter Bunny wouldn't have to be loppy lopping around in a rabbit suit, and the kids couldn't see him because it'd still be dark. And then it, you wouldn't be put to all this trouble. I'm sorry, I, I didn't get that. It must be the pens in your mouth. Friend Hoss, the Easter Bunny arrives at dawn because the children look forward to getting up at dawn. And each one wants to be the first to spy the Easter Bunny hiding his goodies. Yeah. Friend Jonathan was a much smaller rabbit. He used to perform in his long flannel underdrawers. If thou wouldst prefer to no, 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 no. Thou art the tailor, and thy will be done by dawn's early light. I know vanity be sinful, but I cannot help thinking thou art beautiful. Yeah, I Fits like a glove. Uh, Ma'am, one question. How do I get in and out of it? Thou unbuttons thyself, and vice versa. But the buttons are in the rear. I can't get to them to vice or versa. Thou wilt have to depend on the assistance of someone else, like thy father or thy brother. It might even be amusing to them. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can count on that, ma'am. One final touch. Turn around. There. How does that feel? Oh, that feels just fine, ma'am. <clears throat> you mind if I step out and get a little breath of fresh air? I'll be right back. The children are studying. Do not let them see thee. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'll, I'll be right back. Gentlemen, come on, boys, put your back in. What are you, mice or men? Never thought holding a stagecoach was such a heavy job. Digging graves in Flatbush was a cinch easier. Yeah? And where'd you ever strike gold in Flatbush? Yeah. Hey, I thought that Fargo wagon was carrying only silver. Look, all businesses got to start somewhere. Success? Why don't I go around the front and see what's holding it up? Will you shut up when I'm talking? Now, success takes hard work. Why are you stand there, Leroy? Go around the front and see what's hanging up this rock. Go on. Success takes hard work, boys. You work hard, you get somewhere. You sit here, you do nothing. Nothing happens. You understand? Do something, then something will happen. All right? <laughs>
Leroy? Leroy? Boy, that was close. I could have been killed. What are you doing? Just once. Let me kill him just once. Oh, no, 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 You ain't gonna tell a soul about this, even even poor little Joe, you hear? I don't understand. Well, you don't have to. All I want you to do is butt me up and back. It, in back of what? I'll let you see in a minute. But first, I'm gonna tell you one more thing. If you laugh at me, Candy, I'll break every bone in your body, you hear? You know, when I was little, I didn't believe in you. Very funny. <laughs> this time of morning. Huh? What time is it? What's well, it's Easter morning. Yeah, I don't know. I know. What time is it? Oh, I'd say roughly around 422. 422? Honest? 422? Wow, I'm late. I gotta get cracking before I'm going to a sunrise. So what are you bundled up in that mackin all for? Well, I just threw it on. You know how I draft of these March mornings get around Easter. I gotta get hopping Paul. riding. I'll see thee. Thou. You. I'll see you, Paul. It's really not that cold out, you know. Oh, hey, Paul, what are you doing up this hour of the morning? Are you riding out before breakfast, too? Oh, no, no. I, I just got in. I got to get dressed. Well, you, you are dressed. No, well, these are my Saturday nights. I got to put on my Sunday best, taking a cute little gal to church this afternoon. This uh, What's your rush? Oh, I got to catch the early Wells Fargo. She, she lives in Carson City. What's all that noise? What are you doing up this time of morning? Hop sing, no can sleep. Now you're telling you, yes, I hate you. Now you're joking, you're in you're in the middle of the night. You're in the before you're halfway through cutting that little old tree. Uh, uh, hey, Timber! Come on, step away. Let it fall across. 
Sorry about your good suit, Joe, but we got a face just if we're going to make any time dragging all that extra weight behind us. Yeah. Well, what do I know about chopping trees? How many trees grow in Brooklyn? Come on. Come on. We'll put the tree across the road, and you go watch the horses. Why? Where are they going? They're going to wait for us while we knock off the stagecoach. And you're going to watch him wait and stay out of trouble. Well, what happens if you get into trouble, uh, even without me? If we get in trouble without you, we ain't in much trouble. And while you're waiting, read a Bible. Good old faithful, trustful friend. You ain't going to run off and leave old horse this time, are you? Good old pony, you. You don't good for nothing, Bob here! Sweet act rotten! Dang man, you! Chicken, ain't you ever seen a rabbit before? For a wild guess, I say a gunshot. Hey, Billy Roy's up there! All right, where'd he get the gun? I think he might have found my rifle. I left it in my saddle, what you might call it. Then you go back and see which leg he shot himself in. Oh. Go on, go on. Leroy. It's a rabbit. What rabbit? The biggest rabbit I ever seen in the whole world. When it popped up and it scared all the horses, I, I threw down on it. But when I cocked the rifle, it, it turned around and it jumped me. And, and, and it took away the rifle off of me. You let a rabbit take a gun off of you? Well, you would too, Fred. I mean, it was strong, honest. But we had a shot. That's when I, when I jumped the rabbit. And it turned around, and it, and, it, and, it, and it hit me with my own gun. And, and that's when the rifle went off. Well, it's a good thing I was wearing my lucky hat, otherwise I could have been killed. You do believe me, don't you, Fred? Well, the horses are gone, and your hat is dented, that's for sure. Leroy, where's my rifle? Sorry, I bent it, Fred. Okay. 
This big, strong rabbit, Leroy. Would you say he was he was big as a grizzle bear? Yes, he was big as a grizzle bear. And would you say he was strong as a grizzle? Yeah, he was strong as a grizzle. And he was mean as a grizzle. So what makes you think he wasn't no grizzle? Because he had white fur. Polar bears got white fur. He had a pink nose. <laughs> Maybe he got into a fight with a grizzle bear. Then your grizzle bear pulled my bowl of bear by the ears. Because they were stretched out of yarn. <laughs> Joe, I hope your little Carson cutie doesn't get too hot under her Easter bonnet, but it begins to look like you ain't gonna get her to the church on time. Uh, I guess there's no getting around it, huh? Not that rock. We're gonna have to take the long cut. Back up! Back! Up and at him, kiddies! Grand Sun will soon be peeping over the hill. It's Easter morning. You get up, you lazy lump. Now, if we hurry, we might spy Friend Rabbit. Hopping about, hiding his Easter goodies. Yes, sure enough, bent. Are you sure you didn't hit yourself over the head with it? It was the rabbit, Red. I, I swear to you, on our father's grave. We never had no father. Shh. Up there. What, what? Big ears. Pink and fuzzy. So? And I'm a yard long. Uh, yeah, I think maybe I seen him too. You see what I mean, Red? Are you guys off your trolley? You Papa Nichols got buck fever. You think it's the first stage heist we ever pulled? Well, it is, ain't it? Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right, put the bandanas over your kisses. Get behind the rocks. Don't shoot until they get out of the wagon and move the tree. I don't have anything to shoot with. Good. Good. I ain't neither. Do you ever have one of them days with every fly bit, mangy, cloddy, smutched up? Oh, take it easy, take it easy. Don't ruin your good disposition. Side cussing isn't gonna move that tree. Old sweat is gonna move it. Guess you're right. All right, man. Now stay cool and don't move until I say... Tell where that shot came from? No. All right. Who did that? Not me. Well, we can now. Shut count. I don't have a gun. Why don't you let me help? Poke your head up and draw their fire. Make them show themselves. A oh, red. What are you worried about? Do you know what kind of a shot it would take to hit a little head like yours from way down there? <laughs> that kind of shot. Monster Rabbit. Never mind that. Give me some more shells. Come on, give me some shells.
shooting at us are the worst shots in the world. Beats anything I ever saw. Come on. Bunny's got for you. Embarrassing me with that loony story? All right, all right, that's far enough. Come on, let's go. Come on, move it up. Come on, let's go. All right, everybody, get in. You can ride on a freight. It's a long, bumpy ride to Carson City. We get to sit with the Sylvia lugging in the stamping mill. You know, the ones you said were standing idle, waiting for the shipment. <laughs> they weren't waiting for silver. They were waiting for gears. Gears? Gears. Gears. All right, let's go. Climb in. All right, let's go. Gears. Well, right, let's move it. Yes, children, I know you'd be impatient because the Easter Bunny was late, but he had so much territory to cover. Oh, we did finally catch a glimpse of him, didn't we, scurrying about? Yes, Miss Charity. All right, then. Let's see if we can find where friend Rabbit hid his goodies. Whoa, you darling, stupid thing! Whoa! Whoa, stupid! I found one! I found one! Me too! Wonderful. Let's see what colors. Black Easter eggs. No, Miss Charity, books. Friend Rabbit brought us all new black books. Is it a good book? Indeed, Jennifer. It be the good book. One for each and all of us. Miss Charity, Miss Charity. You know what? What, Randall? The road. I think I seen the Easter Bunny looping it up and down it. But I'm not sure. Oh, why? Well, he was looping it up and on the back of a bucking horse. Can Rabbit say, well, stupid? Who knows what miracles heaven works, its blessings to conceal. Yeah, who knows? Boy, that black stallion you brought back with you, sure is a handsome, high-spirited animal. What did you pay for him? Well, I, uh, I didn't have to pay nothing for him exactly, boys. I, I traded for him. That's what I done. I, I traded old Ed for him. You traded that skittish old hay burner for that beauty? Even up? Well, not exactly even up. I had to fill in a few hard-boiled eggs. Oh. I'll tell you how sometimes I think you were born with a lucky rabbit's foot. Have a carrot. 
I don't even like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!